Okay, in this discussion of uh, Red Sockham, I will be talking about mainly about cinematic spaces uh, and how um, Tang Yimou actually is able to craft cinematic spaces very, um, to actually express the ironic situation of Gong Li's uh, deep felt sadness in this very happy occasion. So right now you see um, the troop performing um, against a white shot. Yeah, I think this white shot is very important uh, in this film because uh, it actually foreshadows what's going to happen later which is that the sedan is actually going to be uh, robbed and hijacked along the highway and then the famous chairman you see here which, be, which becomes the narrator's grandfather would eventually have a trice with um, Kong Li's character that you see here Okay, I think this scene is divided mainly into two separate spaces, interior spaces and exterior spaces. I think the interior spaces uh, feels extremely claustrophobic, the one that Gong Li occupies here. It's uh, highlighted by the use of the color red, very symbolic in this film, and then juxtaposed with what's happening outside. I think the interior ex exterior spaces actually um, convey very different moods and um, meanings in the film. First and foremost, the interior spaces, uh, the claustrophobic uh, sense of space inside the sedan actually seeks to convey uh, a certain kind of entrapment in uh, her predicament, Gong Li's predicament that is, and you can see the use of uh, POV shots here to actually show how she's actually, you know, looking uh, through uh, slight crevices, you know, the lack of control and the power over her situation. In comparison, you know, the male figures, authoritative, you know, and strong, muscular, outside the, that, I mean, they actually possess the exterior spaces. Look how they are actually so much more carefree and happy, you know. I think Zhang Yimou was trying to say quite a lot about the situation of female characters uh, in society back then being um, entrapped in their, you know, in arranged marriages such as the one that you see here. You know, being powerless to do whatever, um, I mean, being powerless to command the fate of their love or their marriage life. You can see how the situation is extremely ironic here. How the sedan men are all trying to make merry and ask um, Gong Li to actually sing along, sing a song for them, but unknowingly. Kong Li is actually an unwilling bride. He's very sad. We don't do the exact reason for why she's so upset. But I think at this moment, it's fair to assume that she's being forced into this marriage. And then the music starts playing and the troupe starts, uh, you know, the little fanfare of music. I think the use of uh, the white shot here or the long shot uh, especially with the, the early one that you see, it's, it gives a sense of precariousness to the, the sedan. Notice how, you know, the sedan men shake and, you know, shake the sedan in what they, in, in a tradition that they, uh, that they believe, you know, it's, 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 it's something that has to be preserved, you know, the sedan has to be shaked all the way to the groom's house. But I think it gives a, a certain precariousness and vulnerability to the sedan and especially to Kong Li's situation. And like I mentioned earlier, the, these people will actually encounter uh, you know, a bunch of uh, robbers, you know. Actually not robber, it's actually just one robber, uh, a fake um, gunslinger. And then I think what happens after that is um, it's important because this foreshadows that particular incident which will change the fate of Kong Li because she will actually be taken away, you know, um, by the um, lead a sedan man and then they will actually have an affair later on. <coughs> I think uh, much of the claustrophobia and uh, okay um, much of the claustrophobia that Gong Li feels has also got to do with the use of the anamorphic lens which I think is quite a, a favorite of uh, Chinese directors back then and even now I think and look at uh, the moment of tension sets in when Gong Li actually holds the the scissors. I'm not sure why, but the that particular MCU shot of the scissors just made my heart sink. Yeah. It 
watch how she holds it very close to her heart as she contemplates suicide, you know. She the overwhelming happiness is just too much for her to bear, you know. And again, the use of interior and exterior spaces. Then the more tension. It's ironic, I think, very, very ironic how the very um purposeful placement of um shots, you know exterior shots against interior shots actually build up that certain tension and I think that tension is even further uh, amplified by the the sense of joyous occasion and you know all this happy joy making you know which is very 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 ironic to Congolese situation right now look look how they're so happy and then they start hearing Congolese crying and then they realize what's going on and the journey goes on Okay, I guess that is all that I want to bring up for this sequence uh, for Red Soccer. I think one of my favorite and most memorable sequences uh, of all time. Thank you.